Series a planet or an asteroid? Let's explore the universe. Ceres is a dwarf planet located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and is the largest object in that region. It was discovered on January 1, 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi. Here are some key facts about Ceres. Size and mass. Ceres has a diameter of about 590 miles, 940 kilometers, and a mass of about 9.4 times 10 to the 20 kilograms, making it the largest object in the asteroid belt. Composition. Ceres is composed mainly of rock and ice, and has a relatively low density of 2.16 grams per cc. It is thought to have a rocky core and a mantle of water ice, and may have a thin atmosphere of water vapor. Surface features. Ceres has a heavily cratered surface, with some craters as large as 280 miles, 450 kilometers, in diameter. It also has several bright spots that have been identified as areas of exposed salt deposits, as well as a large mountain that rises 13,000 feet, 4,000 meters, above the surrounding terrain. Orbit. Ceres orbits the Sun at a distance of about 2.8 astronomical units, O, or 413 million kilometers, and takes 4.6 Earth years to complete one orbit. Its orbit is relatively circular, with an eccentricity of only 0.08, Exploration. In 2015, NASA's Dawn spacecraft became the first spacecraft to orbit and study Ceres up close. The mission provided detailed images and data about the dwarf planet's surface, composition, and geology, revealing a world that is much more complex and dynamic than previously thought. Ceres was named after the Roman goddess of agriculture and grain. This is fitting, given that Ceres is located in the asteroid belt, a region of the solar system where many asteroids and other objects contain valuable minerals and resources that could potentially be mined in the future. Ceres has a relatively low gravity compared to other planets and dwarf planets in our solar system, which makes it easier for spacecraft to land on its surface. In fact, the Dawn spacecraft was able to enter orbit around Ceres and conduct a detailed survey of its surface using its suite of scientific instruments. Ceres has a day-night cycle that is similar to Earth's, with a rotation period of about 9 hours. This means that the dwarf planet experiences regular cycles of sunlight and darkness, which could have important implications for any life that might exist there. Ceres is thought to have formed early in the history of the solar system, around 4.6 billion years ago. It is believed to have formed from the same material that gave rise to the other rocky planets in our solar system, including Earth. Ceres has a relatively low albedo, which means that it reflects less sunlight than other objects in the solar system. This is due in part to its dark, heavily cratered surface, which absorbs more sunlight than it reflects. Ceres has a thin atmosphere composed mostly of water vapor, which is thought to be produced by the sublimation of ice on its surface. The atmosphere is very tenuous, however, and would not be breathable by humans or other animals. Ceres was initially classified as an asteroid when it was first discovered, but was later reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union, IAU. It is one of only five recognized dwarf planets in our solar system, along with Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. One of the most interesting features of Ceres is its bright spots, which were first observed by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2003. These spots are located in a crater called a cater and are believed to be composed of some type of reflective material, such as salt deposits. The exact nature of these spots is still being studied, but they are thought to be evidence of ongoing geological activity on Ceres. Another interesting aspect of Ceres is its potential for harboring microbial life. In 2015, scientists discovered evidence of a subsurface ocean on Ceres, which could provide a possible habitat for microbial life. The ocean is thought to be located beneath a thick layer of ice and could contain more water than all of the Earth's oceans combined. Ceres has also been the subject of much speculation in popular culture, with many science fiction stories featuring the dwarf planet as a key location. For example, Ceres is the setting for the science fiction TV series, The Expanse, where it is depicted as a heavily populated asteroid colony with its own government and economy. 
Overall, Ceres is a unique and fascinating object in our solar system that continues to yield new discoveries and insights into the nature and history of our cosmic neighborhood. Captivate scientists and astronomers with a unique history, mysteries and composition that make it an important target for scientific study and potential for future exploration. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and share and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and let's explore the universe.